all the quests I've been doing have either been the real dark blue or white in colour and I've been the odd yellow it's never really been Hey, there's my big giant head. Oh, they're not going to work with the headphones. Need to put the cap on first. There we go. Hi everybody, it's Big Ed Mustafa. Thank you for watching the stream. Uh, we just have a day or two of Summer Festival left, so I'm taking full advantage of it. We are in full epic power fishing mode tonight. And there's another Lulum in the basket. Hopefully I can pile up a big stack of those. And maybe catch a couple of Caleb Hall while I'm here too. I had to make my fishing rod visible again. Actually helps you detect when a uh, fish strikes. You'll see the rod tip dip considerably. Just one extra visual cue, so no reason to fish with your rod invisible. See what I mean? Big dip there. Somebody missed a fish. I don't know the caption for the hat showing up all that well. I'll lean in and try to help the camera pick it up. Nope, still not very decipherable. It's just too dark in this room. I gotta get more light.
I am not having a good night at fishing. It's been tough. Started out okay. Could use a couple of Kellab Hall here. So far I'm almost 10 minutes in and I barely have five or six Lulam. Some nights the random number generator just hates me. Tonight is one of those nights. It's like Sauron commenced with a fish kill throughout Middle Earth.
Oh, man. Fortunate festival fishes. I finally got my tenth Kelleball. I may actually equip that title, come to think of it. Jealous? Thought so. Boom. Rare fish. One more title. Plus, I needed the Kel Hall for tokens. It's a good thing. I would have guessed I still needed more silver haddock. Those are hard to pull, too. Sir Garwin, howdy, how are you? Having a good weekend, bud? I don't know if you caught it or not. I just got the rare fish title. I caught ten each of all of the rare uh, summer festival fish. Just got my tenth Caleb Hall here a couple minutes ago. Good. Glad to hear your weekend's going well. Have you been getting much of a chance to play, or you've just been hanging out watching some streams? Deathman, how are you? <laughs> I don't know if you can read the hat or not. It's a little dark in here. Women want me, fish fear me. Figure I was going to hit the fishing really hard and heavy. I've only got about a day left, so got to make it count. Lurking in the back and saw me. <laughs> I kind of noticed that my friend Sir Garwin had just started watching. But I didn't want to call you out if you were lurking. Catriona, howdy. How are you doing tonight? I was over watching Fecla's. She's uh, been streaming for like 48 straight hours. Twitch apparently crashed earlier today and she had to restart her stream. She was at the 44 hour mark when it derped on her, so. Glad that's going well. And the good news is, since I was watching her stream, I actually did a lot of fishing off stream. So I'll be done with it here shortly. Just finished doing a lot of fishing. Oop, pulled the trigger early.
after this I just have the fishing pond in bywater and then I'm done with fishing for the day. Hopefully I can pull another crystal before this is all up. I only got one Caleb haul. I didn't get any silver haddock. At least I can land this fish. And it was a goldfish. Thanks for nothing. Well, let's see how we did. I'm going to guess about six total. Hey, Two for the Kellaball. Oh, man. I only had enough uh, lulum, lulum for three tokens. Still, I only need five more for another handful of Starlet Crystal, so I'm liking my odds. I think I can still get that done tonight. Uh, no festival horse here? I'll have one in Michael Delving. Kind of was wondering what was wrong with Twitch. You denied us exciting action, Ed? Well, let's just say that uh, I think everybody's gotten their fill of watching me fish this weekend since it was most of what I did Friday and Saturday. I also ran the uh, in-league and ale association pub crawls off stream, so that's just one of those things. I kind of started uh, in the middle of things tonight, as it were. So... Since I'm not a millennial, I don't actually believe everything I do is so important it needs to be broadcast. But We did have some other uh, Lotro streams going. Uh, Gamer Gramp was on for a while doing uh, uh, his Soviet version of Moria, where he uh, reads all the dwarf text in a Russian accent. That was rather amusing. And of course, Feckless has been going strong, and uh, that's been interesting to watch. So, hey, Ninth Pawn, how are you? A lot of weed and goldfish and a few of the rares. Got enough to turn in for tokens to get enough tokens to get the last couple of things I wanted on your minstrel. Well, that's good. I, I don't know what it is. I wish I could get the fun stuff, and I just can't bring myself to pull the trigger. It's like, I just need a handful of starlit crystals. So I haven't gotten any kites. I haven't gotten any steeds. I grind and grind and grind all for crystals, so I wish I was more fun. I am not fun. I am dull. Part of it's just pack space issues. I can stack a handful of starlit crystals. I guess a mount wouldn't take up pack space, but kites would take up a uh, toolbar slot. So would a new mount. I don't have many of those left. And then cosmetic items. I got no room to store that stuff. So. I just keep getting crystals, being eminently practical about uh, my use of festival tokens. Oh, I just missed a fish because I wasn't paying attention. Although I had my mouse freak out on me once earlier. Of course, I think it was because I picked up my drinking cup and dropped a uh, coaster on it. Come on, fish. Really? You almost never pull weeds here in Bywater. Normally it's always named fish. Yeah, the RNG is not in a good mood tonight. Random number generation has been jacking with me all night.
Maybe if I take the hat off, maybe the server doesn't like my hubris. <laughs> I'm not all up. I know how to speak English properly. If I start saying stuff like, hey, death man, thanks for checking out the stream, darling, then you'll know that's all up, not Big Ed Mustafa. Ooh, starry flounder. That's a good hit. Wow, fantastic. Archangel TV, thank you for the host. Very cool. Not sure why Twitch Alerts did sound off on that. It probably will in a minute. Notice that it was a little off the other night, too. I got a follow and it showed up in Moobot, and then about 30 seconds later it showed up on Twitch Alerts, so. I know nobody wants to talk to me, but Desc Discord is up and running. So if anybody wants to pop into voice chat, I am here. Waiting for the time that All Up calls Death Man Darling. You could cut that tension with a knife. <laughs> it wouldn't be Darling, it would be Darlin. Hey, Darlin. I don't think I've even pulled a small fish yet. Although if I get one more starry flounder, I should be sitting pretty. It's a tough night for trophies. Anyway, for those of you who are just getting into the stream, I managed to catch my 10th uh, Caleb Hall earlier. So I am now sporting the rare fish title. Lady of Streams, The Complete Angler, All of the Masters, Rare Fish, Kingfisher. The fish titles keep rolling in. So that was a nice win. I was happy about that. What happens if he calls Mrs. M, darling? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it too much. I was just talking in Feckless's stream earlier that Mrs. M worries that All Up is my boyfriend. So... If he actually started hitting on Mrs. Mustafa, she'd probably be relieved.
At least you will have gotten past the stage where she thought you were making up the uh, fact that people were watching the stream. <laughs> she just wasn't sure that that was a real thing. Are you just sitting in front of your computer talking to yourself? Yes, honey, I'm just talking to myself. Nobody's watching me play video games. In all fairness to Mrs. Mustafa, it took her a long time to break me and domesticate me, so I don't think she wants me running off to Texas to be with all up in you, and then she has to start over with some other guy. It's a lot of work crushing our will, subjugating her to do her bidding, so... She wants to keep me around. I'm pretty happy about that. A minute and five left. Then we're all done with fishing for the day. I'm going to be just short of time to pull in another fish after this one. Maybe if it's an instant bite. Nope, too slow. I already needed to be reeling in. I'm going to be just short of time. Yep. Stupid fishing hole. I did get a nice rusty dagger there right at the end though, so that's pretty cool. All right, let's see how we did. Did I get my 30 tokens? Can I throw another handful of Starlet Crystal on the pile? Do I have to go fly kites? 26. 28. 29. 30. 31. So I made it across the finish line, but just barely. But still, I get a crystal. See, my problem is that I've got this uh, first age ruin, and I really need to imbue it. And then I've got a first stage uh, one-handed sword, and I really need to imbue that. And then actually I should probably replace my two-handed sword. Uh, it's a third ager. It's imbued, but only because I knew it was kind of a throwaway weapon, which is ironic because it's pretty powerful since I went ahead and imbued it. Uh, but I should probably go ahead and get a first age 100th level two-handed champion sword and then imbue that. And if I got all three of those lined up, I could just do away with legendaries forever. Unless, of course, I wanted to bother to get a first age 100th level bridal and then grind on that for no good reason. Since you spent all of about, I don't know, 2% of your game time on mounted combat once you get to 75th level. So the glorious, glorious takeaway from all of this, boys and girls, is that I don't have to fish anymore tonight. There we go. I'm going to do kites really quick, just 
because for some reason I'm in the mood to do kites tonight. I don't know why. But it's a thing, so... Here we go. She wants the crashed ones. Hello there. Might I speak with you a moment? You wants me to go crash some? Good day. Might I have a word with you? So we'll get cracking on this. And I guess we can put the Rohiric fishing rod away for a while. Hey, Kryles. What time is it for me here? It is 11.20 p.m. I am in central daylight time. Same as Chicago. Maybe that's what Mrs. Mustafa and I should do. Take a long weekend and go spend it in Chicago. It's not that far away. I think Chicago's about a six hour drive from Omaha. I have friends who go all the time and hang out in Chicago because they're Cubs fans. Uh, so they'll go hang out and drink and watch a couple, three baseball games. And I have never spent any time in Chicago except for going through the airports. And that just floors people around here when I tell them. Kansas City and Chicago and Minneapolis are where we go for fun. I go to Kansas City and Minneapolis occasionally, but I just never have gotten to Chicago. And what's even weirder is I had somebody tell me they thought I had a Chicago accent. You don't sound like a Nebraskan. You sound like you're from Chicago. I'm like, okay. Never been. But, all right. An hour earlier than real time. Yes, real time minus one is where I am at. Web Toe Hobbit, howdy. And to my credit, Chicago is not real time. It's still an hour behind real time. So there you go. As is Kansas City, as is Minneapolis. As I am not a smart man, I need to be someplace where it's a little slower than real time. I need that extra hour to think. Could be worse. He could be from the future like Death Man. As oh, long as I'm up here, I'll take a second to show off. Hopefully y'all are listening to this through a nice pair of headphones. And the sound effects they did for the dragon firework are just really good. So hopefully you all will be getting your dragon fireworks in the not too distant future if you don't have them already. And we've got a rare Mrs. Mustafa sighting. Hopefully she's noticing I'm low on beverage. You're really dark. I know. I was trying to show off the hat and it wouldn't really even show up on camera even with me leaning forward into it. So. Where is the hat? Right behind you. Um... You want one of my lamps? No, it's fine. Because that will really brighten your face. Nobody wants to see my face, honey. Not even me. I could what look over need? at the replay and scare need? myself. What do we need? A garage? I would love a delicious, crisp, refreshing, icy cold Coke Zero, please. And a jar of macadamia nuts. 
Yeah, we don't have macadamia nuts. I just like asking for stuff I know she can't give me. It's all part of the fun. You know, macadamia nuts would be all... Actually, somebody said that you should never... Australia has the sexiest ladies. Those accents, rawr. Kathy Bates isn't from Australia. Kryles, what are you talking about? Hi, Kryles. Mrs. Mustafa says, hello, everybody. Long time yet for me since I haven't been playing long. Well, Katriana, you might be playing Lotro longer than you think. Coke Zero, good choice. Unexpected, but good. Yeah, I don't drink a lot of Coke Zero, but once in a while it just kind of hits the spot. Kathy's the exception to the rule. <laughs> Can you imagine how hot Kathy Bates would be with an Australian accent? Wow. That would be off the charts. There, I'll trade you. Hmm? Thanks. Oh. Mrs. Mustafa and I went to Noodles and Company for dinner. I had a uh, Napa salad, which they made incorrectly and didn't put the apple pieces in. Uh, she had some Korean noodles and a side salad and... The noodles that they served her tasted nothing like anything that ever came from Korea. So that was amusing. And then we got the Korean side of meatball appetizer. And those didn't taste Korean at all either. And they had kind of a gross texture. It was almost like they had a skin or a casing on the outside of the meatball. Then they were covered with this thick brown sauce that just when I f first tasted it, maybe had a little bit of a hint of Korean flavor. But Korean is the new bastard flavor that everybody's trying to claim they have, and it's just like, pff, not even close. Where are we? Oh, I'm done with both of the kites. Okay, cool. Need to pay attention to what I'm doing. She remembered someone other than Zinger. She did. In fact, I think she said, hi, death man. On an Australian beach, yes, please. You never met a Bogan Aussie chick, Kryles? Kryles is left out. If you want to curry Mrs. Mustafa's favor, you just have to talk a lot about murder she wrote like Zinger does. Hello there. All right, we got a couple of extra tokens banked just in case we need them. I might do some fishing tomorrow. I think the festival is over with at 3 a.m. Tuesday morning. Or we might be having some downtime at like 6 a.m. Eastern on, or 7 a.m. Eastern on Tuesday. I don't know, I hadn't seen an announcement yet. Anybody know when Summerfest is over with? I think I asked this Friday night in my stream and I didn't know then either. You'd think as a Lotro stream team member I would actually pay attention to stuff, but it's just like that were the biggest concern in my whole life, I would be blessed indeed. I have a Noodles and Company where I lived in Indiana, but I don't have one here in Florida where I am now. I thought it ended at 3 a.m. tonight, this morning. Um, I think for that to happen, they'd have to go into the office on... A Sunday night to make that happen so I think that's why it's actually tomorrow again I don't know for sure I may be wrong I thought it was the 17th which actually would be 3 a.m. so this might have been my last hurrah for summer festival 
So I can promise you I'm not going to get back up at 2 a.m. Eastern or 2 a.m. Central to fish. So if it's gone tomorrow, it's gone tomorrow. Probably no coincidence that all the festivals seem really long to me except Summer Festival. What do you need? I have nothing to repair. That is truly glorious. Sell rusty dagger, sell weeds. Look at that, I actually have two crystals in inventory. Sell goldfish. Legendary level up. Let's hit the workbench. I have been having a terrible streak. I'm wondering if they didn't... Uh, didn't nerf the crafting on Anorian goods. I mean, I've been trying to do my host of the West crafting every day for the polished onyxes for jeweler. I got a 41% chance to crit. And I mean, I haven't critted this in I, two or three weeks. It's been frustrating. I don't play every day, but I mean... And there we go again. I'm like 0 for 9 or 10 on that lately. And at a 40% chance, you'd think I'd hit it once in a while. No go. I'm wondering if that isn't broke. Or it could just be like the same luck I was having at fishing tonight. Is there something I can do for you? Aurora Ember, howdy. Welcome, welcome, Tiger King, how are you? My stream is laggy. Um, you know what? I actually reduced it to 30 frames a second instead of 60, trying to reduce it. Uh-oh, Tiger King got uh, message deleted. Davin De Geek TV, thank you for the follow. Glad to have you with us. So I know uh, Tiger King and I think Aurora Ember were over watching Feckless earlier as well. She is still plugging away on her Bjorning, so... Uh, she's got it up to 78. Uh, she hasn't streamed the whole time. She's taken some breaks and gotten some, some not sleep, but rest period. She's been up for 48 hours and has her Bjorning up to 78th level uh, last I checked. So, uh, yeah, if you guys get a chance to pop over there, just give her some encouragement. Uh, we want uh, Feckless to do well and to uh, not black out at her keyboard. Should have chosen Rune Keeper or Hunter. Anyway. So we have crafted, we have eaten on camera, jalapeno chips no less. We have fished and fished and fished. We've done inventory management.
And unfortunately, I am really close to being done with stupid North Thillian dailies that take away my will to live. So, what did I figure I needed last time? Mordor is scary. The Black Gate is scary. And there's no place to fish out here. It makes me angry. Anyway, host of the West. I am 2,600 rep points away from being done with host of the West. So we'll work on that for a little while, and then I can't even remember what I'm supposed to be working on after that, so it'll be interesting to try to figure it out. I know I'll still be grinding rep out here, but at least it won't be general rep. It'll be specific... Uh, use your word, Zed. Specific sub-faction rep. Oh, anyway, uh, Tiger King was saying that my stream looked laggy, and uh, Twitch had a major problem earlier today. There's still some um, uh, tremors going around, maybe some aftershocks. I think that's the word I was looking for. So, according to OBS, I'm running smooth as a baby. Let me confirm that. Yeah, I've got some dropped frames, but my ISP check was golden before I started streaming. My CPU utilization right now is 4.6%. Um, I mean, I, I'm not stressing anything on my end, so if we do get some stutter or some glitching, it's probably just a Twitch thing. Uh, I can try to correct it a little bit, but I don't think that's coming from my end, so my apologies in advance. Even though, as Deathman will attest, I normally bring low-quality entertainment, I do try to bring high-quality visual and audio. So, if the stream doesn't look as good as I would like it to, I apologize. You know what? Just between the Battle Cat Keeper... Anyway, the Battle Cat Keeper and the Culling. I may actually get... That's about half of the uh, rep I need right there. That's almost 1,500. Alright, let's switch over to the two-handed. the hell direction am I going? I was headed this way. There was a boar and a crawler. crawlers because they both drop a lot of task items for turn in. Reeking filth, prismatic carapaces, moldy skin, worn furs. And that was a 16,000 morale point critical hit. That was pretty nice. Or 
there's one for 17,000. Making quick work of them. I'm liking the crits. Kryle says, Big Ed is super chatty tonight. If you're in trouble, Big Ed Mustafa, give us a sign. Anytime I think Mrs. Mustafa is finally about to kill me, I'll just blink three times really slow in the camera. Help me. She could come in here and end me at any moment. Nice one-shot kill on a boar. I'll take it. So I think the culling is worth 700 rep points. Oh, sweet Jesus, thank you. These caps of even gleam are really rare. You have to find the purple ones. Apparently I've got to get off of my stupid war steed. Please let me have the cap. Thank you. I couldn't even attempt to pick it up while I was mounted. Um, but those are for cooking crafting. And I've had very little opportunity to do any cooking crafting because I can never find those stupid things. You can't just pick Evan Gleam off of the landscape. You have to find those purple nodes uh, that are separate and just don't run across them very often. Of course, I haven't spent a lot of time out here lately either. I've been mostly worrying about North Athelian rep and not grinding on the uh, sub-factions. So that will be changing after tonight. Less fishing, less North Athelian flower picking, and uh, more wasteland stuff. No man land. <laughs> you guys are clipping that, are you? you like me to make you F.A. Sword, Ed? Uh, tch, 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 uh. A gamer to pass out and faceplant into your keyboard while gaming. Uh, tch, 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 yeah, it is kind of a rite of passage. Lord knows I almost did it enough times playing Fallout 4. Hasn't seemed laggy to me. Thanks for the feedback, Web Toe Hobbit. Everything's pretty good from this side. Looks fine for me. Big Ed is super chatty tonight, which we covered. Someone clipped that. And that's just with a snack. She won't do it while the camera's broadcasting. That's it. I have to stream to stay alive. Otherwise, I've got no chance at all. She just needs to record a video loop of him, and you'd never know. Yeah, just... You'd just pa pass by, you'd be like, ah, Big Ed's fishing, you must be okay, I don't want to watch the stream, and you just move on. That's okay. No charge, Ed, I have mats filling my vaults, so. Uh, yeah, I'd love a first stage uh, one or two-handed sword. I think I've got enough... Um, roving threat um, brands to turn in, or badges. Uh, I think I can go get one anytime I want, but. If you're seriously sitting around on materials and looking for something to craft, I certainly wouldn't refuse the gift of one. Uh, I am on Arkenstone server. Ban are useless, so I'm not going to fight the birds. Uh, 
Boom. Plus 700. That puts my magic number at 1900. Just a sliver now. 88 1 out of 90. Alrighty. Actually, one of the ironic things is I think I'm going to be out of reasons to do task turn-ins after tonight, too. I have to think that through. It's like item experience. Don't really need it. Uh, regular XP. I'm at level cap. Rep. I'll be maxed out with every faction. Uh, <laughs> so I might have to ignore my own advice and start skipping doing task turn-ins. Oh man. Okay, I forgive the random number generator. I would much rather have caps of Evan Gleam than just about anything else right now. I got a ton of grinding to do with the uh, specialty factions out here. So if I keep pulling those mushroom caps, I will be happy indeed. That's probably a phrasing thing. Ed was talking about how pulling on mushroom caps makes him happy. That's not really. Don't clip that. Please, for the love of God. And we're right by a roving threat. There's one. I do like one-shot kills. The Avonks drop reflective carapaces, and those are not useful for task turn-ins, at least not yet. That could be a thing in Mordor, I suppose. So they're probably going to add extra turn-in tiers at some point, anyway. I will not be soloing any wasteland roving threats tonight. Tiger King, I am good. How are you? Big Ed, can you please help me? I can sure try. Big Ed. Somebody's pulling a whole lot of grief behind him out here.
Can I join your kin, please? I cannot join your kin. I'm currently a member of the Academy here on Arkenstone. And I haven't been real good about it, but I try to hang out with my kinnies and go on the weekly field trip Friday afternoons. Although lately it seems like I've been getting stuck at work late on Fridays and missing that. But eventually that should slow down and I can go back to joining them. Uh, so, yeah, I appreciate the offer. And uh, if I weren't in a kin, I would be happy to join yours, but I am kinned up at the moment. In fact, all of my characters on Arkenstone are members of the Academy. Uh, as a zinger, I believe. Thank you, Deathman. Very nice of you. I very much appreciate that. That's generous. I have a hard time pulling the uh, first stage symbols that I need. I don't do a lot of group content, and they don't tend to drop a lot otherwise. Plus, I'm still convinced that Standing Stone has a separate random number generator for free-to-play people. Oh, I still need one more Bog Lurker. Somebody must have gotten out in front of me and was hunting them, because they've gotten pretty rare all of a sudden. Hopefully it identifies well. I got a heap of symbols from running Peller gear before they nerfed it. Yeah, that's the one thing uh, I have a problem with since I generally don't rush into all the latest content. It's probably, I mean, overall a good thing actually, but I miss out on the exploits. I always hear about, oh yeah, everybody rushed out into this new area and it was bugged and they all got all this really cool stuff that dropped at some super high rate because it was messed up, but they're doing a hot fix and it's like, yeah, sorry I missed that. On the other hand, I'm usually not in too much of a hurry to get anything done in-game. I like to take my time, enjoy myself. My theory with Lotro is if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. So, that's why if I start to get a little bit tired of a grind, I like to take a break from it. And there we go, off to get, uh, not Gloom Reek, Haunt Reek. Gotta go collect Haunt Reek over here now. Nerfed. No food? Just saw a kin for Ed called Fishing in the Horredale. <laughs> if I could actually get a freep to Horredale, that would be a good kin. I would fish the hell out of the Horredale. And that was the sound of a crisp, delicious, refreshing Coke Zero being opened. Still on the original formula here in the good old U.S. of A. 
I have not had to go to my local bottling plant and take hostages yet. They have not changed the formula. Where's the hot reek? There's some hot reek. The new stuff is okay. Good. Like I said, I was hoping it wasn't a future disaster like uh, New Coke was back in the day. I guess I'm gonna fight this captain. There's usually some more haunt reek out this direction. Weird place for a bear. They're usually not down this far. Can't really tell much of a difference other than the name. Good. My theory was that they wanted to switch sweeteners. In fact, I think somebody said they were changing the formula a little bit. I wish I had a way to detect those purple Evangleam caps off of the landscape. One of the other things I have to do before I head into Mordor is completely redo all of my jewelry as well. Um, It'd be nice if they added the extra crafting tier and maybe I could go a different direction with it. You had prime rib for dinner. Prime rib is super yummy. Super yummy. Doodle? Yes, Pookie Pants. I had Gandalfo's coupons. You did? Did they expire? No. We oh, won't yeah. be using them. I wasn't really in a sandwich mood tonight, I know. so. I still want pizza. Even though noodles jacked up my salad. They totally did. We'll get on sure foot. A scathing review. Dear Noodles and Company. What the. What the? Okay. Well, that hasn't respawned yet. Yep. There we go. One of the things I got to get used to, I haven't done on my champ before, is get used to the Battle Frenzy skill. Bloodborne says that is the bomb diggity for champions, and I just haven't used it much. But apparently it doubles the rate at which your champion earns fervor, and you can get uh, legendary item uh, legacies that cut the cool down on that to just a few seconds so that you can basically just keep beating that skill like a drum and keeping yourself amped up all the time. For a champion is a good thing. Otherwise it takes a while to wind up a champion. Excellent. It's nice when they all line up in a row for your champion like that. 
Although ironically the orcs don't actually drop anything particularly useful. I think I've been uh, done with orc slayer out here for quite a while. See, I forgot to hit Battle Frenzy again. trying to figure out why he was still alive. He's a captain. I have a bit more morale than the rest of them. There we go. Picking up Haunt Reek. Picking up Haunt Reek. Oh, we had dinner. She's just talking about what we're going to eat like later this week. She wanted pizza earlier when we went to Noodles and Company, but she didn't mention pizza until after we ate. I still want pizza. And pizza you shall have, honey. Huh? I'll have a pizza. Who's on watching you? Anybody I know? Yeah, they're all jealous that you pay too much attention to Zinger and not enough attention to them. Trials is here, and Death Man is here, and Aurora Ember is here, and Rambavams is here. Welcome back. Uh, mostly killing orcs. And Tiger King 65 is here. Uh huh, that's nice. Ninth Pawn is here. Should I say hello? Webtoe Hobbit is here, yeah. A little higher. Oh. There you go. Mrs. Mustafa says hello, everybody. Katriana is here. I think I got most everybody. You can give Mrs. Mustafa a shout out if I missed your name. Dargon is here. Welcome. And Ninth Pond says hello. And Aurora Ember says hey, hey. And uh, Dargon says Darg is in the house. Aurora Ember is jealous that we have noodles and company. We have two of them equidistant from our house, actually. Mm -hmm. One's right by Mrs. Mustafa's work, and one's right up the street from where I work. I need to go kill these oh, orcs and collect sorry. Haunt Reek, honey. Thanks, though. Thanks for giving me the finger. Yep. Mrs. Mustafa greets each of you warmly and is grateful that you're here to keep an eye on me so she doesn't have to. And believe you me, she hates having me out of her sight for even a minute. She knows I'm going to get into mischief.
Frenzy, and I forgot to hit Battle Frenzy again. Champion's Mace of the Third Age. That's actually not useless. That's useless. And most of that looks useless. Okay, let's ride over this mountain and see what's going on. Wrong kind of Evan Gleam cap. Oh, and Sir Garwin. I don't think I mentioned Sir Garwin earlier. My apologies. My wife is cute. She's adorable. Uh huh. Who just lied? Who just lied to everybody? I say nice things about you. I just wait till you're not around. Mm -hmm. I'm on to you, mister. Help me. Uh -huh. Fear is real. I haven't heard a lot of talk about the music out here in the waste, but it's actually really good in my opinion. Ah, uh, poop, I gotta make more room. I don't think there's a mailbox here. I know we're pretty close to Mordor, but you'd think the quick post would be more on the ball for all the stuff we did for him. All right. What news have you? No, nope, don't see mailbox symbol. What can we sell? Ooh, I got a ranger's journal too. Jewelry journal, no less. Excellent. We can do some more crafting. Reflective scales are useless. Jade gems or vendor bait. We get rid of these handful of starlit crystals. It's not really a thing.
That's actually pretty useless to me. I don't really need to keep the Anorian ones either, but I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of every kind of hide socked away. I could make leather armor from now till the end of time and not run out. Task turn ins. I've got Warren fur, prismatic carapaces, moldy skin. Still not enough goo or ears. I think that's the whole shebang. So let's do some task turn ins. Reeking filth. So close. So very, very close. I uh, could actually finish it right now with task turn ins. I have no idea where my keys are at. You'll probably want those before you have to drive to work in the morning. check your car. Alright, don't lose my keys when you go out to check the car, please. I might. She might, too. That's no joke. I didn't open the house when we came back. You did that because you walked in first. You are correct. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Completed. Done. Finished. Celebrated by Host of the West. New Deed, The Road to Mordor. There it is, celebrated. I'm done. Maximum standing reached. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. I am glad to have that done with. Deed complete. 50 Lotro points. 40 Host of the West Silver Pieces. Uh, Athelian Infused Essence Box. A new title. Celebrated Warrior of the Host of the West. All good, good, good stuff. New title. Road to Mordor, one of four. Oh, I have to get the rest of the three sub-factions, too. And that finishes another meta-deed. Lotro points granted. 50 big ones. That delights me. Use the Repto bed and get Host of the West done quicker. Eh, I'll save it for something important. Besides, I'll let you guys in on a secret. I knew I was going to be playing Lotro anyway, so there really wasn't any point to hut hurrying it up. At least it gave me something to do. More junk in your pending loot. Yeah, I know. Oh no, I must have put that stuff in my inventory. Yep, there's the essence box. There's the forager's basket I still haven't opened.
That's just really good music. That stupid mailbox, there it is. Half guard, thank you very much. Great sword of the first age. I obviously have to clear some pack space. Let's see what we got. Send that off to Lenorian. All crap. All crap. All crap. At least it's consistent. And we'll send an awesome Thank you to Deathman, who is awesome, and I thank him. Truly. If I had to guess, I would say at least part of Deathman's motivation for sending me that first stage two handed weapon is because I wore the ball cap on stream and I kind of gave him a slight all up in you fix since all up in you wasn't on tonight. So I'm glad I could be there for you, Death Man. You're welcome. Very cool. Okay, what the hell else do I need to do? Um... Be nice if I were within a hundred miles of a crafting area somewhere.
Avengers will not surrender us, Gilioth. Nor would I ask them to. We must protect Gondor at all cost. Protect Gondor at all cost. Is what it is. Yeah, we'll go to Dull Amrith real quick. Katriana, have a good one. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us. Hopefully I didn't miss saying goodbye. Well, that need for space with Mordor soon, yeah. <laughs> Ed six one four two four, thank you for the following. Five sets of polished onyx. I must have upped that output quite a bit. that battle frenzy cooldown that Bloodborne tells me is all important.
Ferocious Strikes, Area of Effect Skill Damage, Brutal Strikes. Good. All useful. What news do you bring, Traveler? I bring good news of great joy. I don't know if I've got enough pack space to deconstruct anything. Maybe. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. He gets locked. Spear's not done. Light bridle's done. Champion's Ruin isn't done. Item 10. Here we go. I greet you, friend. Throw those on the pile. Throw those on the pile. And I think I need to call it a night. Now I've got to be in the office bright and early tomorrow. Mrs. Mustafa's already settling in to go to sleep. And it is almost 12.30 a.m. here, so um, what stats did it have, Ed? Uh, let's take a look. Um, 255.2 DPS base damage, uh, plus 87 agility plus 1114 max morale, plus 87 might, uh, plus 2% parry chance, and it came with brutal strikes, area of effect skill damage, and ferocious strikes cooldown, all as legacies. So pretty nice stuff. And again, I'll mostly use it while I'm in mounted combat, but I will use it frequently. So it doesn't have to be the greatest two-handed sword ever made, but uh, we'll get it uh, specced out and lined up and leveled up and uh, delved and imbued and make it rock. Yeah, no, it's a nice sword. I very much appreciate it. So unless somebody else is streaming, I'm probably going to throw it back to Feckless here. Let's see what else we've got going on. And uh, I'll figure out who we're going to host and then call it a night. Uh-oh, I don't see Feckless's channel up. Say it isn't so. Nope. 
Did Feckless finally crash? Did she finally have to go get some sleep? Inquiring minds want to know. So Dr. J20 is streaming. Maybe we can go make a new friend. Let's see what he's got going on. My dad was that cool. Alright, I'm going to bed anyway, so let's go check out Dr. J20. Uh, since it looks like Twitchless finally called it. Yeah. 48 hours will do that, yes, absolutely. So here we go. Let's go give uh, Dr. J20 a Mustafa raid. And thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I had fun. I hope you had a little bit of fun too. Uh, just remember the secret code for whenever Mrs. Mustafa puts me in mortal danger. So. Get that wrong. Thanks for watching. I'm going to count down from 10 and then hit enter for the host. <laughs>